Hey guys, so today I have a super fun DIY for you. I have been wanting a blanket ladder for God knows how long and they are super popular right now. I've seen them all over the place, definitely on Pinterest. So I decided to go ahead and shop around and see if I can find one. And guys, I found one at Kirkland's for $120. Fell in love with it, but I was not gonna pay $120 for a blanket ladder. So I decided to go ahead and make my own and it was actually super easy to do and everything for this project cost me less than $10 to do. And it was actually pretty quick to do as well. Um, the couple little things here and there, I'm gonna show you guys some extra tips on how to make it a little easier for you all. But I'm also gonna be showing you how I make these cute little planters right there for the ladder. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and let's just jump right into it. So here's the wood ladder that I was inspired by, and this is the one from Kirkland's that was $120. No way that I'm gonna spend $120 for this, but I did look up different ones that they had on the website as well. They had ones that looked like, kind of like branches, and then also ones that looked like it was cut pieces of wood. So I went to my local Home Depot to look at different types of wood. Now, I always like to grab the wood that has more of a design to it. It looks better when you do stain it compared to like a flat piece of wood. And the wood ended up being on sale as 25 cents cheaper per foot, which ended up altogether coming to around like $7 and I believe like 30 cents. Now this is optional, but I always like to sand all my pieces down. It helps get like the little rough edges and little nicks and marks off of it. And it does help the stain stick onto it better. But right here, I'm just sanding all the pieces. Now after laying it all down, I went and measured out how far I wanted the pieces to be and I kept from the very top about 4 inches and then 11 inches per piece and then on the bottom I kept a 6 inch gap. And now time to stain the ladder. I am using stain left over from another project. I know it is in the color ebony and I did get the stain from Walmart. I think they run for like three to four dollars. But what I like to do is to brush on the stain and then I will take a rag to kind of wipe off the excess. Now I did stain both sides of the ladder. I made sure to get all the smaller pieces and also like in between where they attached a longer piece of the ladder and also the little feet part. And I let it air dry before I moved on to that other side.
Now this is optional, but I decided to also distress it with just some acrylic paint. And don't mind my clothes, guys. These are my painting clothes. But I always love distressing wood to kind of give it my own touch and that farmhouse look to it. And I absolutely loved how it turned out. Now before we start decorating the ladder, I just wanted to go and make a couple little floral arrangements and these are all pieces that I already had. I think the containers were from Dollar Tree a couple years ago and then the flowers were just from other projects that I didn't use. But I love how it came out, it's just lavender and lamb's ear. And you're probably asking why I'm doing it this way because usually you would think the flowers go in the center with the handles on the sides, but I will be hanging the baskets on the ladder. So I decided to put the blanket ladder right over in this corner by my stairs and I thought it actually looked really good here after I got it all decorated. But I'm just moving everything out of the way and at first I thought I could put the ladder in front of this little window pane I have to the left of me but it ended up not looking right so I had to move it out of the way as well. I know I'll probably get asked where this blanket is, but it is from Ikea from a couple years ago. I ended up getting it in the as is section for only $4. Now to hang the baskets up, I am using this twine from Dollar Tree. I didn't want to put any nails in the ladder, just in case I ever wanted to remove these baskets or I can always switch the flowers out or just put anything else there. So I'm super excited about this find. I got all those flowers from Goodwill, the whole set of them for only a dollar. I thought it was absolutely crazy. They were just randomly shoved in a bag and I thought they were super pretty and they definitely kind of give me like that lavender feel to it. I don't know what kind of flower it is, but I'm just kind of folding the branches in half and sticking it into this little kind of like foldable basket, I guess you would say. It's like a cloth basket and I'm gonna go ahead and put it under the ladder.
So I thought the wall above the ladder was pretty bare, so I went ahead and just used this flea market sign I already had sitting on one of my benches and hung it up with some command strips. So that's pretty much it for this video. I absolutely loved how this blanket ladder turned out. But if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.